Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, NASCAR, NASCAR Cup Series Xfinity 500, the 150th NASCAR Cup Series race at the Paperclip Martinsville Speedway. 263 miles, 500 laps, three stages, 130, 130, and 240. Are we going to have a finish in the Cup race like the Xfinity race? <laughs> that was insane. I think we can. We had the RCR guys in the Xfinity race. I think we'll have two Gibbs guys running in the uh, Cup race. We have two Gibbs Toyotas. Minus 17. Mr. Martin Truex Jr. Danny Hamlin. I think y'all can tell where my allegiance lies when it comes to that. Alright. So, fuel window. 170 to 180 at Martinsville. 130 for first stage. 130 for the second stage. 240 for the third stage. Split the stages. Split that final stage in half. Nine sets of tires. So I think we could split the stages in half. Maybe do two stops on that, the last stage and save a set of tires. Now, in the spring, SHR, Stewart House Racing, all four cars qualified in the top seven. Five fours qualified in the top ten. They end up finishing fifth, sixth, fifteenth, and twentieth. Four fours in the top seven. Fords have the short track package figured out. So, the three next gen races at Martinsville. So, spring of last year, spring of this year, and fall of last year. Stage one went caution free. Last year, 81 laps in the spring. This year, 81 laps in the spring. 131 in the fall. No cautions during stage one. Stage two. Last year in the spring, 90 laps last year. And then 90 laps this year. One caution this year. No cautions last year in stage one. Or stage two. The fall of last year, no cautions in stage two. Um, the spring of 22 had four cautions total. The fall of 22 had six. The spring of 22 had five. Two of those stage breaks. So, in the last three Martinsville races, in the first two stages, besides stage breaks, one caution. So in, in the spring, Ryan Priest won stage one, Eric Camarola, Tyler Reddick, Daniel Suarez, Chase Briscoe. We, we found out how important, important, important it is for pit road, pit road penalties, Ryan Priest. Super fast car, speeding penalty. Stage two, Kevin Harvick, Chase Briscoe, Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, Brad Keselowski. Top ten in the race. Kyle Larson, Joey Logano, Martin Truex Jr., Denny Hamlin, Chase Briscoe, Eric Almarola, Ryan Blaney, Ricky Sinas Jr., Bubba Wallace, and Chase Elliott. All right. So, three next-gen races at Martinsville. Joey Logano, 3.3 average finish. Ryan Blaney, 4.6. That's going to come into play. Kyle Larson, 7.3 to win. Ross Chastain, 7.3. No Hail Melon. We know the Hail Melon got outlawed. We know they use it in every video package there is. But you know what? There's been so many things that they use in video packages that either the driver got suspended for and or fined for. So that is what it is. Chase Presco, 7.6. Eric Almirola, 9.6. Chase Elliott, 10.0. This is just next gen stats at Martinsville. William Byron, 10.3 in a win. Bubba Wallace, 11.0. Christopher Bell, 12.3 in a win. One more thing on that Hail Melon. It's dangerous. That's why they outlawed it. Um, because when you purposely hold it wide open against a wall, and there's a gate there. Yeah, that's what happens. It's all pardon handy. If you would have caught that gate just right, Bristol, mid-90s, Michael Waltrip, the car was in three pieces. Um, some, I mean, it's just, it's not only safe, not safe for the driver, but not safe for the fans. It catches that gate, tears, cats you down. The what if. When it comes to safety, you can what if, you can what if, and safety for it. But, 
All right, at Martinsville since 2020. Joey Logano, 4.7. Ryan Blaney, 5.7. Chase Elliott, 7.4 in a win. Kyle Larson, 8.2 in a win. Martin Church Sr., 10.4 in a win. Or two wins. Alex Bowman, 11.7 in a win. Remember Denny Hamlet and Alex Bowman? Bowman got into him, ran him up the track, uh, and, and stopped him from doing it, called him a hack, sold a million t-shirts. Just like this one. <laughs> William Byron, 1.9 in a win. Ross Chastain, 13.2. Eric Amaral, 13.6. And we did find out Eric Amaral will not be returning this year to Haas in 2024. Neither will Smith Beal. So that'll be interesting to see who's at a 10. Rumor has it Noah Gregson. I think they sell the charter. If they can't find sponsors for the 4, and they don't have sponsors for the 10, sell the charter, $40 million. And I threw that on social media. I threw that out there on X. They're going to sell the Charter to Spire. Spire is going to have a fourth car with, um, who did I say they're going to put in it? It was going to be with RCR and <laughs> maybe Ty Dillon, I think. And it's going to be a collaboration with RCR, kind of like the other one's collaboration, Zane Smith, with Trackhouse. Um, Kyle Busch, 13.9. All right. Martinsville. Paperclip. Flat track. So, flat tracks this year, Phoenix, Richmond, New Hampshire, Martinsville. Joey Logano, 7.5 with a win. Kevin Harvick, 7.7 .7 in a win. Chase Briscoe, 9.7 .7 in a win. Ryan Blaney, 9.9. .9. Denny Hamlin, 10.0 in a win. Kyle Larson, 10.4 and two wins. Chase Elliott, 11.5. Christopher Bell, 11.7 .7 and two wins. Ross Chastain and Martin Church Jr., each with a 12.1 average finish. Now, we had cup qualifying today. Oh, let's pull that up here. The old Xfinity 500. On the pole, Martin Truex Jr. Outside his teammate, Ty Gibbs. Truex needed that. Playoff drivers. We have Denny Hamlin, fourth. Kyle Larson, fifth. Christopher Bell, seventh. Ryan Blaney, eleventh. Chase Elliott, fourteenth. William Byron, 16th. Christopher, Christopher Buescher, 18th. Tyler Reddick, 19th. Um, we have Bubba Wallace, qualified 6th. Great run for him. Um, I love what that 2311 team has been doing this year when it comes to practice and qualifying. He's made a lot of second round qualifying. Bubba has, Tyler has, Denny has. It's been great to see. Um, but there's Joe Gibbs cars in 1954, first, first and second. Can Martin Truex Sr. do this? I know he's won three of the last eight. That's with the old car. We know Denny's won nine, seven races here, something crazy like that. Again, the old car. I love the stat Jeff Gordon's won at Martinsville since Denny Hamlin has. <laughs> but Denny runs well. We know, we know that. Um, if you look at Denny Hamlin, let me pull that back up here. <laughs> I think he had me pull any stats up here. So Denny Hamlin, he was 28th in the spring last year. In the fall, he was fifth. This year in the spring, he was fourth. Those are next gen stats. Um, if you go back, he had the 24th at Martinsville. His last win is way back at Martinsville. I want to say it was 2015. So, I mean, yes, he does have wins there. Yes, he does well there, but it's been a minute. Um, so, we'll see what that does for everything. I think he can get there. I think he can get to the playoffs. Um, I think it's going to come down between Truex and Hamlet. And I think the end of the Xfinity race will be the end of the cup race with Hamlin making the championship four with Byron, Bell, and Larson. But that's just my opinion on that. All right, playoffs. Here we are, William Byron plus 30. Ryan Blaney plus 10. Tyler Reddick minus 10. Truex Hamlin minus 17 and Busher minus 43. Busher has to win. 43 points is a big number. He's got to win. 
Truex and Hamlin, each minus 17. I almost think they're in a must win as well, and here's why I say that. For Hamlin, he's got a pass Truex, pass Reddick, and pass Blaney. I think unless Truex or Hamlin wins and Blaney has a decent day, Blaney's in. Now, do I want to see Blaney in? Yeah, I like Brandon Blaney. He's got one of those drivers where it's like you don't, you can't hate him, you know. Um, but we'll see. There's been a whole lot of talk here lately. I've seen a lot more lately of, of the play, no people not liking the playoffs. Um, and one discretion I got, or argument I got into on X was they've complained about 2020 and um, Kevin Harvick. How he won the regular season title, won nine races, and didn't run for a championship. I brought up the 1993 season when Rusty Wallace won 10 races and finished second to Dale. All Dale had to do was go to Atlanta and finish 34th. And he, his lowest finish in the entire year was 29th. And they ran a second RCR car that year to basically start and park in order to have one extra position available for that they knew they could cover. So, no matter what era we're in, from 1949 through 2023, everybody's going to want something they don't have, or they're not going to like what they have. Every driver knows the rules. Every team knows the rules. Every team, every team, every strategy is based on what the current rules are. So we can go well if it wasn't for play. Yeah, if it wasn't for playoffs, we wouldn't have championship would be wrapped. The Xfinity would be wrapped up already. The truck would be wrapped up. I think so. You know what? Let me double check the Xfinity if, it, if it's there and see if it would be wrapped up. I know the truck series already be wrapped up if there is no playoffs. But that's why I like the playoffs is because we are going to Phoenix Raceway next weekend. And we know we're going to have four drivers racing for a, a truck series championship. Oh. I know in the cup series, point wise right now, there's three people that without the playoffs would be even in the conversation. Here we go. Yep, it's updated. So the most points you can earn is 59 over somebody. If we didn't have playoffs, there's a seven, there's basically Nemechek has a 52 point lead over Algar. That's six positions on track. Really? I, I mean, come on. Come on, guys. Stage one, it's over. Do you really want a championship like that? I don't. I like having four reasons for it. So right now, the non-playoff standings would be Byron, Hamlin minus 32, Bell minus 52, Truex minus 95. He's, um, if he's over 59 points out going, leaving... Uh, Mart Martinsville, it's over for them. Larson minus 100, Reddick minus 136, Brad Keselowski minus 146, Ryan Blaney minus 168. In my mind, I don't care if any, four of those guys go to go to home go to Phoenix and run for a championship, and any of those eight win, they're a legit champion. Because I've heard that too. They're not legit champions. Whatever people, we've been doing these kind of playoffs for 20 years. We've had playoffs in cup. This is the best best scenario. You have cutoff races that mean stuff. You have the aggression we saw in that Xfinity race. But we know we know what the reality is. Ryan Blaney plus 10. Tellerick minus 10. Truex Hamlin both minus 17. Let's go. Get this sucker done. Get four drivers going to Phoenix. Four in the truck. Four in Xfinity. Four in Cup. We have a championship week coming up. We're going to crown a first ever champion in Xfinity Series. I think we're going to, we could crown a first ever champion in the truck series. Depends on Ben Rhodes. And honestly, the only people here that's won a championship before is Truex and Larson. So anybody else wins that championship, we're crowning a brand new champion. NASCAR Fantasy Live. Um, running, a, running a search for guys, so we are pretty much done. Um, topped out. I've been thinking of like a thousand something or something. Uh, let me pull that. Here. I'm in the TMD. I'm in multiple. I'm in actually five leagues. I'm in the TMD NASCAR league. I'm in the Trading Paint league. I'm in Sirius XM 
Fantasy Racing Preview, and then MRN Inside Line. In the Fantasy Racing Preview, I am... I am 523 in the TMD League. I am 1,049. So, not, I mean, out of, it looks like there's 4,200 members. Uh, I mean, top 1,100, I'm happy with that. So, I'm playing Joey Logano, Christopher Bell, Ryan Blaney, Chase Fresco, Denny Hamlin. And then I am putting Martin Church Jr. in my garage just in case I need somebody and he's there. I'm going to go ahead and throw him in there and see if we can uh, get, get, get it, get it, get it, get it good. So it uh, looks like in the Trade and Paint XSM, I am number two out of seven members. I don't think I'm going to be able to pass Post Reach Crew Chief. Not sure who that is. Um, it's somebody on Trade and Paint. That's kind of cool. If it's only the Trade and Paint guys. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, have to reach out to uh, John Roberts and see who's who on there. But that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah. Four picks to win. Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Kyle Larson, William Byron. Um, stay tuned to Robert Sports Show for a championship preview. We're going to go through all the champions and kind of talk about where we are playoff wise um, we'll have a preview of each race and then the off season the plan the plan for the 104 day off season we're going to have the countdown we're going to go through the different car numbers and different stats from each car number we're going to do the NASCAR 75 greatest drivers profiles champion profiles topic videos the plan is two videos a day for 104 days as we lead up to the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series season. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.